Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leonela and in today's tutorial I will show you how to crochet this beautiful and perfect summer accessory. This is a crochet bandana that is super easy and quick to make. You can make them in different colors and you can use them for gift or even for selling. You can follow along with me or you can get the free written pattern on my blog. So let's go to the tutorial. Before we start with the tutorial, I would like you to show you the measurements of our bandana. And it measures 39 centimeters from one side to the other. So this would be the width of the bandana. And the length, including the border of the bandana, is 20 centimeters but you can make it bigger if you want it by adding extra rows. The ties measure approximately 28 centimeters but again if you want to make them longer just add extra chains. I hope you enjoy watching this video and have fun making your next summer project and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos and tutorials. For making this project, you will need any DK cotton yarn. In this case, I'm using this lovely cotton yarn by Drops. You can use any yarn you want or any yarn you have at home. You will also need a 4mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. And you will start row number one by creating a magic ring and then you will chain four and this is going to count as the first double crochet and one chain space and now you're going to work three double crochet into the ring Here is the first double crochet and then I'm going to work two more. And remember to make a double crochet, you're going to wrap the yarn once, insert your hook and yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's the double crochet created. Then you're going to change two and work three more double crochet into the ring. And now you're going to work one chain and one double crochet all into the ring. And each row is always going to be the same. It's going to start with four chains at the beginning and it's going to end with one chain and one double crochet into the ring. And you're going to pull the yarn tail to close the ring. And by the end, you should have the four chains from the beginning and two groups of three double crochet separated by two chains and one chain and one double crochet at the end. Going to chain four and then you're going to turn your work in order to start row number two. And then you're going to work into that chain space from the previous row. And you're going to work three double crochet into that chain space.
and after working the three double crochet you're going to make one chain and you're going to work into that top corner space from the triangle two groups of three double crochet separated by two chains so here I'm working the first group of three double crochet then I'm going to work two chains and I'm gonna do three double crochet all into the same top corner space And now I'm going to repeat what I did before. So I'm going to work one chain and I'm going to work into that chain space from the previous row. And I'm going to do three double crochet into that space. And then I'm going to make one chain and one double crochet into that same space. And you should have the four chains from the beginning, one group of three double crochet, one chain, the groups in the top corner space, and then one chain and three double crochet, and another chain and one double crochet. And you're going to work four chains and turn your work to start row number three. And we're going to repeat the same sequence. So I'm going to work three double crochet into that chain space from the previous row. Then you're going to work one chain and you're, and you're going to work three double crochet into that chain space from the previous row. You're going to work another chain and work two groups of three double crochet separated by two chains into that top corner space. And here is the first side of the triangle and we're going to repeat the same into the next side. So you're going to make one chain and then you're going to work one group of three double crochet into the next chain space. Work another chain and another group of three double crochet into the last chain space. And one chain and one double crochet into the same space. And you should have the four chains from the beginning, then two groups of 
three double crochet the top corner space and then the other side is going to be the same now to start round number four you're going to work four chains and then you're going to turn your work Now for this row and all the following ones, you're going to continue working the same way we worked in row number three. So you're going to start working a group of three double crochet into the first chain space. Then you're going to work one chain and you're going to place a group of three double crochet into each chain space from the previous row. So you're going to chain one, work three double crochet into that chain space. And chain one again. And then work another group of three double crochet. And you're going to continue working this way until you get to the top corner space. So here is our side before the corner space. And when I get to that top corner space, I'm going to work two groups of three double crochet separated by two chains. So here is my first group of three double crochet. I'm going to work two chains and then I'm going to work another group of three double crochet all into the same space. And here on this other side, I'm going to repeat the same I did before, but in this case, I'm going to start by making one chain and then I'm going to work a group of three double crochet into each chain space from the previous row until I reach to the last chain space from the row before. And when I get to that space, I'm going to work another group of three double crochet into that chain space. And now I'm going to chain one and work one double crochet. So this is the way we always do when we reach to the end of the row. And here you can see row number four completed. We have three groups of three double crochet into each side and then one top corner space. Now I'm going to start row number five and this is going to be the same than the previous row. So I'm going to continue working this way until I reach row number 12 or if you desire, you can make more rows in order to make your bandana bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue working in this row. And then I will show you how it is at the end.
So now I'm almost at the end of the row. So I'm working the last double crochet. And this is row number five completed. And you can see we have four groups, three double crochet, one corner space, and four more groups of three double crochet. As you can see now, I have five rows completed and this is the way we're gonna increase our work. So I'm going to continue working, repeating row number five until I reach row number 12. Now I have the 12 rows completed. And if you count the groups of double crochet on each side of the bandana, you should have 12 groups of three double crochet on each side. So if you count this side first, you should have 12 groups and then the corner space and then another 12 groups in total. So make sure you count how many groups you have and each group, remember, is separated by one chain. Now, after completing the 12 rows, your bandana should measure 18 centimeters and this is going to be from the base to the corner of the bandana, the top corner. And then if you measure the width, which is from one side to the other side of your work, this should measure approximately 35 centimeters. So now we're going to continue working the border of our bandana. So for that, I'm going to work one chain and I'm going to turn my work and I'm gonna work one single crochet into that same space. And then I'm going to miss two stitches from the previous row. So here you can see I'm missing two stitches and I'm gonna work a shell stitch. A shell stitch consists of working five double crochet all into the same space. So now I'm completing the shell stitch. So I'm working five double crochet all into the same space in order to create a shell. Here I've completed the first shell of the side. Then we're going to miss two spaces and I'm gonna work one single crochet into the next space. And now this is a sequence we're going to repeat all along the side of the bandana. So we're going to miss two stitches and into the next we're going to work a shell stitch. And after working the shell, you're going to miss two stitches, two spaces, and work one single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm going to continue working on the border of the bandana, following the sequence all along the side until I reach the corner space of our work.
and now before the corner space you're going to miss two stitches and work one single crochet into that last space before the corner space and you're going to work a shell into the corner space so you're going to work five double crochet into that corner space of your work And after working the five double crochet, you're going to work one single crochet in that stitch immediately after the corner space. And this is how your work should look by now. And then you're going to continue working the sequence of shell stitches and single crochet, missing two stitches or two spaces as you go on the other side of the bandana i'm going to continue working on this side of the bandana and i'll meet you at the end I'm now working on the last shell of the bandana, working the last double crochet, and I'm going to miss those two spaces, and I'm going to work one single crochet into the last corner space. This is how the border of your bandana should look like, and now we're going to count how many shells we have, and in this case I have eight shells on one side then I have one in the corner space and eight more shells on the other side if you make your bandana a bit bigger you will have more shells on each side of your bandana now we're going to make the ties of the bandana and for this I'm going to make 51 chains but if you would like your ties to be longer than this, you can make extra chains. And when I have the 50 chains completed, sorry, 51 chains completed, I'm going to work one slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to work one slip stitch into each space available, into each chain available. So I'm going to go ahead and continue working slip stitches all along the chain that I've made until I reach the beginning of the chain. Now I'm working the last slip stitch of the tie and then I'm going to work one single crochet into the last single crochet of the row of shell stitches. And in order to create a nicer finish, we're going to make a row of single crochet stitches on the edge of our bandana. And for that, I'm going to place three single crochet into each horizontal stitch from the previous rows. So here we have one horizontal, 
double crochet so I'm going to place three single crochet into that space as you can see we are creating the border and that would be the four chains that we created in the previous rows so I'm going to place three single crochet and I'm gonna work all along the edge of the bandana until I reach the middle and I will show you what to do in the middle. Here we're almost at the middle of the bandana and this would be the starting point of your work. This is where you created the magic circle or magic ring. So there I'm going to place one single crochet into that space. And I'm gonna continue working, placing three single crochet into each space available. I'm almost at the end of the bandana, working the last single crochet into that single crochet of the previous row. And this is our border all completed. Now we have to work another tie. And for this, I'm going to repeat what I did before. So I'm going to chain 51 And then I'm going to work one single crochet, sorry, I'm going to work one slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. And I'm gonna continue working slip stitches into each chain available until I reach the beginning of the chain. I am working the last slip stitch of the tie. And to finish, I'm just gonna place one slip stitch into that single crochet we worked before. And then I'm going to work one chain in order to finish off. And I'm just gonna cut the yarn. And this would be our bandana completed. So congratulations, you watch until the end now you will have a lovely bandana and the only thing you have left to do is to hide the ends and then your bandana is ready to wear i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye